Hi, welcome everybody to a new video. I got something very, very interesting for you today. So in the morning, I received a message from one of my friends. He sent me an article where somebody was reporting that his office chair was interfering with his monitor. And I googled a little bit and there's been a number of reports, of course, the reference to the same incident. But it was pretty hot in the German media and actually there is also an English version if you go to, towards Vice. They have a English mm, description of it and it says, so that's the guy, Heckler. He talked about his setup and he noticed uh, that um, when he rubbing his back against the, against the chair and then leaning forward, then the monitor starting to go black. And he's suspecting that his leaning for this leaning forwards causes a ESD event, which is obviously uh, a good idea to to think towards this. But ESD is typically something which is more a conducted thing, right? So all, for example, all connectors in your mobile phone, all USB connectors, they are protected against ESD events. So in case you touch the connector and you have been charged, so that this charge is, is kept away from the sensitive electronics. But obviously here there was no contact. So it was not a, a coupling via a, a, a conductive path. It has to be radiated actually. So I found this very interesting. And what's pretty cool is that actually I do myself own such a chair already for many, many years and never had an event with this. But you can see that actually my home office set up and I thought, so let's find out, is there a possibility that the chair somehow radiates and makes your screen turn black? So I took one of these very analog uh, <laughs> appliances and I measured the chair. I measured the dimensions of the chair and I checked which parts of the chair are actually metallic, right? So if we expect there is some radiation, we need some metallic parts. So I built a model. So here it is. It's hmm, it's not perfect, but it actually resembles the dimensions very nicely. And I put a port. Okay, so he said in this article that he suspects that there is a ESD event here between the suspension and this, this legs. Okay, but now we have to understand when can, uh, when can this interfere with the monitor. And for this, actually, I checked the, uh, the, the original posting. And he mentioned he's using a display port. Okay, so if we look into a display port, he said a 4K display port. If you check on Wikipedia, 4K display port. So display port is not a simple interface. It supports a number of different speeds. It operates at very different frequencies. So I don't have, of course, the detailed information, but if we look at 4K, and probably the guy doesn't have a cheat set up, so somewhere in between here. So that means the display is port will be operating at high bit rate 2 or high bit rate 3. And if we scroll up, then we can find that the high bit rate 2 is operating at 540 megahertz link symbol rate and high bit rate 3 operating at 810 megahertz link symbol rate. So what I wanted to find out with my simulation is, is there is there a radiation at these frequencies? Do we find the structure resonance of this uh, of this chair, right? If we excite it here. So for this, I built the model of the chair. I put a simple excitation here, and we measured the electric field simply down here, expecting that some most of the stuff is happening here, but also up here. And if we look at the at the electric field radiated now obviously it's a 50 ohm excitation that's not what i esdb but with this excitation i can check if there is a resonance of the structure and surprisingly you can see that exactly around 800 megahertz we have a, a elevated field strength and if your cable probably maybe not properly shielded 800 megahertz can very well couple into your cable so let's try to understand where is this coming from? Because, I mean, we see there, are, there is a number of resonances. Of course, the, the chair is electrically pretty large, actually, right? So it will have a number of resonances, something around 70 megahertz, 200 megahertz, uh, 500 also close. So we don't know if it's operating at 500 megahertz or it's operating at 800 megahertz. Actually, the peaks are very close to both. 
And what's interesting, of course, now with the tool, we can find out how does the current distribute in the structure. Let's start with this lower frequencies. That's at 70 megahertz, right? That's a lower frequency. And it's clear for lower frequencies, you need a certain antenna size. And you can immediately see that this this frame, so there is this large frame around which then the, um, the material is, is, is wrapped so to, to create your back cover. But this frame seems to be really metallic, so that's why I modeled it as a metallic part. You can see at 70 megahertz, you have a nice resonance in the frame. 146 megahertz, it's the same frame resonance, but a higher order resonance of the frame. Now going to 200, that's also similar. But if we go to the higher frequencies, 465 megahertz, you can already see it's not that much the frame. What we get is a, a resonance of this um, of this legs, of this five legs. It looks a little bit like a disco antenna. And actually, the 800 megahertz is very similar. You also get a resonance happening down here. So it's just, a, again, a higher order in, in this legs. But it's clearly showing that there is a resonance of the structure. And that's exactly why we see the elevated fields at 800 megahertz. So the guess from the guy there was probably not the bad. Obviously, the event is much more complex. So this is just a first simulation you can run to to check if your structure is resonated at this frequency. You can, of course, go even further. So I built a more complex model, actually adding the human body to it, human sitting on the chair, and added a port over here. And we can also see that there are some resonances at 800, some around 600. But I tried a few things, and uh, in, in such a setup, it will pretty strongly depend actually where this ESD event is happening. So right now, that's a very different setup from what I had before, because before I placed the source here, now I'm assuming that there is an ESD event uh, between the shoulder and the, and the frame here. I put also, I don't showing this, but I also put this, for example, uh, down here, uh, assuming that the ESD event is happening here, and it gave you a slightly different spectrum. So it depends of course, on many details of the setup, but still it's clearly see that 800 megahertz might be a resonant frequency of this chair, and that might actually really lead to, to a failure or to a blackout of your monitor. It's a very simple first level study, and obviously if we would connect, collect a, lo, a, a little bit more data, and we would collect some more information about this incident, we could use the simulation also to generate more accurate uh, results and really debugging what is happening here in such a very odd scenario where your office chair is interfering with the monitor. Found this pretty interesting. It's a short video for today. Thank you very much for watching and up to the next time. Uh, bye bye.